Driving back from a great day of fishing in Boston Harbor, I called ahead to ask Pops if he would be willing to accept some flounder fillets in exchange for a cooking lesson back on the Cape. <laughs> well, listen, we just got back. I called ahead to Dave because God knows I surprised him enough. Dave's gone ahead and started to prepare some stuff for these winter flounder fillets. I got a big box of them in here. Oh, so they're beautiful. Pop these things out. Whatever we don't use. You're going to give some to me, yeah, some to somebody else. That's exactly it. We're going to feed the office, but first we're going to feed ourselves. So let's get ahead and get started. And these things will cook. It's usually about 10 minutes an inch for fish in a 415 oven. They're no more than half an inch, so these will cook in about five minutes. I like to show off, grind my own pepper. <laughs> Here's a little salt. Now that's going to go in the oven, and we'll give it about, oh, we'll check it after five minutes. If I don't like the place on fire, which I've nearly done before. Now in this bag, I have plain white flour with salt and pepper. That's a seasoned flour, we call it. I'm going to coat a couple of these guys. I guess I can get three of them. That pan. I think you can get three in there. So Pops are giving me one job, that's to brown the butter, which means basically burn it. And yeah, you, be, you, you stop before it burns, but it begins to turn brown. If I can't do that, I really don't deserve to be anywhere near the kitchen. <laughs> Salt and pepper and flour, and it'll be served with brown butter, chopped parsley and lemon. It could be a little hotter. Well, it's heating up, it's bubbling. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, they are, aren't they? Beautiful fillets. These are beautiful. Whole half the fillets are taken off entire, not in four pieces. I'm just going to chop some parsley. And I always keep some scallions around for both for flavor and for garnishing things. So it, I shouldn't use it on the Meunier because it's not classical. But then again, I often ignore that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and check that. That's one of the things I'm very good at. Don't destroy him, you'll ruin the presentation. <laughs> Beautiful lemons. Great. Now the bell says that one of them may be done. Is that the oven one? Mm-hmm. We will see. Now look at that, it's just Pure white, beautiful looking, just done perfect. Here we go. We're going to make a presentation of this, what's left. This is what's coming out. What's left. The handle just fell off this damn thing. If Chris hadn't destroyed that, that would be a little prettier. We'll hide it with that. You see? There you go. This won't taste. Now, that butter could be browner. It's beginning to brown enough. We're going to serve this up right the way it is. It's winter flounder mounier, a classic French recipe, and one of the better things you could ever do with a winter flounder. It's merely flounder, salt and pepper, and flour, so sauteed in butter, and then I garnished it with chopped parsley. And you and can smell the parsley actually yeah, cooking and then, on top yeah, of the... And then you, uh, Squeeze some lemon on it, eat it, have a taste. You won't be sorry. I'd serve this to anybody in the world. It's good enough. Take a look at these, baked plain without any adornment, right here. And, and in the oven. like what, like five or six minutes? Well, that, that was, was about five or six. That was about eight minutes, actually. But now they're done, and I'm going to dress this with a Mornay sauce that I prepared earlier. Simple bechamel or white sauce made with uh, butter, flour, milk. I put in a little white wine. And then I sauteed a couple of mushrooms and a little piece of red pepper chopped up and uh, cooked them, put them into the sauce and a little Parmesan and cheddar and you've got it. Now, see if there's anything edible out here. It's getting cold. That's delicious. Unbelievable. Well, you know what? We've been working with Pops since we started the magazine. 
15 years ago, he was one of the first people who came on the board of the magazine. It's just been a pleasure to work with. He's just a wonderful human being. And God, is he bright, and he can cook the food. Kind of guy you want to marry. <laughs> hey guys, we had an excellent shoot out there today. I brought some fillets down. Good folks, Jason Colby, the captain Jason Colby on board, Little Sisters. Contributing writer Ron Powers, we're out in Boston Harbor, out of Quincy Bay. Brought the fillets back to Pops, and he has done an absolutely incredible job with these fish. Um, if you'd like to learn more about today's show, or look for Pops' new cookbook coming out. What are we going to call that? Cooking the Catch 2, E-O-O. -O. <laughs> Cooking the Catch 2. If you'd like to learn more about that, it'll be on the way out soon. We hope to see you on the water. Pops is unbelievable. Thank so you for I. having us over. Well, you're again. welcome. Thanks for bringing the fish.